there, welcome to video 9.1. I'm Janet Simmons, and in this video I will introduce you to some of the basic principles of performance support. We will begin with the analysis questions and then define what performance support is and what it isn't. Next we'll examine the five moments of need. We will then look at the differences between training, knowledge management, and performance support. Then we'll take a closer look at training support. Finally, we will define and examine the differences between PSS and EPSS before wrapping up with a couple of synthesis questions. To help situate yourself in this module, can you recall a supportive learning environment you've experienced in the workplace? What makes it supportive or unsupportive, and would you have preferred more or less support? In a very loose sense, Rosenberg states that performance support is anything that supports just-in-time learning. This can be either electronic, such as an app or a non-electronic tool. All performance support tools should provide the learner with guidance and support when needed so that it boosts or maintains productivity. According to Godfordson and Mosher, there are five fundamental moments that comprise the full spectrum of performance support needs. They refer to this framework as the five moments of need. It is an overarching framework for helping learners become and remain competent in their individual and collective work. Let's take a look at each of these five moments. The first moment is when people are learning how to do something for the first time. The second learning moment is when people are expanding the breadth and depth of what they have already learned. The third moment is when people need to act upon what they have learned, which includes planning what they will do, remembering something that they may have forgotten, or adapting their performance to unique situations. The fourth learning moment happens when problems arise, things break or things don't work the way they are intended. This learning moment revolves around solving a problem. The last learning moment occurs when people need to learn a new way of doing something, which requires them to change skills that are deeply ingrained in their performance practice. As instructional designers, educators, managers, or trainers, we must be able to identify these moments of need in employees to provide accurate and timely performance support. By this point in the course, you are well aware that the purpose of training is to instruct the learner, which often takes the worker away from either the workplace or time away from work. In either case, there is an interruption in the workflow. The learning is usually structured and the goal of learning is for the worker to gain skills and knowledge. In the realm of knowledge management, its purpose is to inform. If you think about it, this is different than instructing. The worker is diverted from work, which interrupts workflow. Usually knowledge management is either semi-structured or self-directed. The goal of knowledge management is to find and share information. With performance support, the purpose is for the worker to perform. Thus, there is a slight pause in the workflow while the learner consults the support mechanism, such as an app or a diagram. The learning moment happens at that moment, and the goal of the support is met when the task is completed. As you may have experienced in workplace training, workshops, or seminars, you are not fully competent in the material presented. Managers and some trainers may believe that learners are fully competent after training, but the reality is much different. With support, the information and knowledge gained in the workplace learning is often lost over time. However, with support systems in place, the knowledge and skills increase as time progresses. PSS, or performance support systems, supply easily accessible material, such as job aids and documents. EPSS includes many of these supports, but there is much more depth and variety. There is an increase of learning resources in addition to people resources. Note that the people resources need not be on site, but are often available through personal learning networks in the Web 2.0 sphere. There are three synthesis questions for this video. How would you describe supportive learning and what elements must be included? Finally, consider EPSS. How do they fit into your definition 
of a learning organization. Performance support is often overlooked in the workplace, but as you've just discovered, it is necessary for organizations to have numerous supports in place to ensure learners not only gain knowledge and skills, but also use these to increase productivity and positively impact the organization's bottom line.